Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be doing another wig review. So make sure you keep giving these videos a thumbs up so we can continue with the wig review. So first off, this wig was sent to me by Ebony Line. Um, So basically what Ebony Line is, they're like a big like beauty supply store online. They have wigs, of course, and they have like beauty products as well, like combs, hair products, um, stuff in that nature. And you definitely should go check them out. I will leave their website down below and I will leave their Instagram link down below as well um, and I'll leave the direct link to this wig um, also so this wig I honestly forgot the price of this wig so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the description bar and in the video I think it was around like 40 something dollars this is the sensational Empress lace wig and it's a lace front wig from ear to ear basically and it has a 4x4 closure and this is in how did I say I wanted to say it is a I think I want to say Isa. This is in Isa, and I got it in a 1B, um, and it is flat iron safe up to 400 degrees, so from 350 to 400, you're in the safe range. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys this wig in the middle part, but you can wear it in the middle part, a right side part, or a left side part. And this is what the stock car looks like. So as you can see in the stock car, she had a 613, and that's what I requested, but um, unfortunately they didn't have that color, and I'm actually glad that I didn't get this color, because um, I really just like how natural this wig looks. So yeah, I'm really glad that I got one. The only thing that's left is to show you the wig. So this wig, I think is so pretty. I've never worn like a any type of like bob on me or anything close to this, so I think it's really pretty. So let me just show you. This is it straight out of the pack um even though i didn't take it out the pack on camera um i have not altered this wig in any type of way yet so the lace is even still on it so for the actual construction of the wig it comes with whoop, let me flip it inside out okay so it's gonna come with two combs on either side and then it's gonna come with the comb in the back and an adjustable strap, obviously. And then this is what the closure um, piece looks like. I love these like Swiss closures because they look really natural straight out of the pack. And then um, they the four by fours uh, give you so much parting space and it looks so natural. Okay, so this is the wig straight out of the pack. Like I said, nothing has been done. I really, mm. Yes, I always look, I feel like makeup really ties a wig in together. Um, but obviously, I'm gonna tell you guys what I need to do to this wig. I probably wouldn't really wear straight out the pack like this. Yeah, I really like the cut of this wig. Um, it's really pretty, really natural. It feels really, really good right now. Like, oh, it really feels like relaxed, like, natural hair if like a silk press or something it feels so good and i think it looks so natural and this is why i'm really glad i didn't get the 613 even though obviously i have nothing against blondes because i'm blonde but i just think this is such a nice like everyday kind of like going to class like kind of wig like it's really nice really pretty um it flows really naturally and i'm not getting any tangles not even towards the end where it's a little more um like bulky and it's a really thick wig as well it's not super thick which I do like too it does shed though like you will get a few strands here and there but not that bad from what I'm seeing thus far what I'm going to be doing to this wig is it, it honestly is not even that bad I am going to be plucking the part even though this is not even a bad part like to even start off with I don't think it's that bad of a part I'm just gonna widen it a little bit and it's some hairs like this right here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these whoop, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about like these hairs, I don't like. I think they're kind of pointless. They're just like right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like razor them or cut them, whatever I need to do to kind of make some baby hairs for them, like right in the front, kind of make some baby hairs. If I can, then I'm just gonna pluck them all out. But that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, and then like, it's pretty flat. Like this is a pretty flat wig um, all in all. Like I don't think it's really, really bulky, except for right here. Like right here is always too bulky to me. Like just to me personally so i'm just gonna take this wrapping foam this is the hopefully y'all can see it's kind of hard to see 
this is the wrapping foam I use. You can use any wrapping foam. foam. Um, and I'm just gonna take some of that and I'm just going to put it all over the hair, of course. And then I'm going to take um, a this silk scarf here and I'm just going to like flatten it like that and keep it tied down. And if that doesn't um, keep get it as flat as I want, which I think it will because it's not that bad, but if it doesn't, then I'm just gonna take some flat irons um, and I'm just going to flat iron it. This is the, if you wanted to know, this is the hairline. I'm not gonna pluck that because again, this is not a wig that you would necessarily like pull back or anything like that. Okay guys, so like I said, I was going to go cut the glaze fuck the part, try to make baby hairs, all of that, and that is what I did, and now I'm back. This is what the wig looks like. This is what I have done to the wig. Um, and I also said I was gonna, sorry, the comb is like next to it. Okay, I also said I was going to try to um, like flatten the top a little bit so it's just a little less bulky. Um, and this is also what I came up with with that. Um, so I'm gonna tell you everything I did to the wig, don't worry, like always. So actually, I plucked a lot of hair from this. I plucked some of the, hairs in the back the part that was looking bulky and I also put the part and this is how much hair I got so I did pluck a lot of hair okay, as for the baby hairs that I told you I was going to try to do because it was some hairs right up front that wasn't really conforming to either side of the wig I was like hmm that could be baby hairs or I'm just gonna pluck that part so I ended up plucking it because I don't know it wasn't working out so yeah, I don't have any baby hairs within this wig, and then for me, you know my hair is blonde, so I can't really, I don't know, my hair doesn't match the wig. I could put some eyeshadow and stuff on there, but I don't really feel like doing all that, so yeah, I, I'm just not gonna do all that, but I would definitely tell you guys, like this wig looks really good and really natural already, but I would definitely tell y'all, like if you are able to put some baby hairs in this wig or pull your own hair out to make baby hairs, definitely do that. Um, I definitely would if I could. Um, so as for like the wig itself, um, it's really nice. It feels really soft and really, um, just really natural. Um, it looks really natural. I'm sorry, the comb keeps me. It looks really natural. Like I said, this hair, the texture of it has a bit of a yakky feel. So to me, it kind of feels like, um, pressed natural hair to me. Um, and I really like that. So that's a plus. The cut of this wig is so pretty. I'm never, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, but, um, cause I don't have a mirror out, so I'm sorry, but I've never had a style or hairstyle in a bob I was always told that like my face was too like chubby around to wear a bob so I never got a bob in any length so I really like this it has a really nice like just cut to it and I really 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 like that about the wig as you can see I keep moving the wig from in front of my face because that's not what I'm used I'm not used to this much hair at all being in my face anymore so that's kind of annoying but that's just a personal thing because I'm bald-headed and have been for over a year now so um yeah, that's something that's new for me. Um, in terms of tangling, shedding, all of that, this hair does shed quite a bit. It does shed kind of a lot. It does. I'm not gonna lie. It sheds a little. It's a little bit in terms of like low shedding and high shedding. It's definitely towards the higher end of shedding. Um, but you know, you don't have to always run your fingers through this hair. You don't always have to be brushing it too, so that'll help with shedding. I don't think hair just falls out. It's usually when I'm playing with it or messing with it or combing it, brushing it, whatever, that's when I tend to see shedding. So um, yeah, if you just kind of cut back on that, that should help with shedding. But um, as for tangling, it doesn't really tangle at all, and that's probably because it's so short. Um, so for this, like longer waves, I always give like a shorter like um, wear life, basically. Um, so for this being so short and you know, such a nice um, blunt cut, you're not gonna get too many tangles especially because it's not gonna be rubbing against a lot of clothing maybe. Um, and it's just not gonna be a lot of friction within the hair. Um, the ends are in a blood cut, which also I think helps with terms of tangling towards the ends. So I think this hair is really good with sh um, tangling. Um, not so much with shedding, but um, just because it doesn't tangle so much, you might be okay with the shedding because you don't always have to be brushing it. But yeah, it definitely um, doesn't tangle at all. So I think you can get a good like, I think if you don't wear this every day, who knows? Like, I think you can get a long time out of this wig. Like, I think, like, I wouldn't be wearing this wig every day. So I personally think I could get a nice amount of time with this wig. But I think if you're gonna wear it every day, I think you could get like one to one and a half months wearing this wig and you might want a new one because it might start to look a little bit 
thinner. This is the part if you want to see like how I put the part. Um, yeah. So yeah. Other than that, this like this wig is really nice. So make sure you check out EbonyLine.com. Obviously, I will link everything in the description bar so that you are able to take a look at this wig for yourself. Um, maybe if you get the 613, definitely tag me on something. Um, my social media is down below or snap me. My Snapchat I'll put up in this corner. Definitely, because I would love to see how the 13 613 looked. Um, because that's what I originally wanted. But it's okay. I really like this. I really like this um color. But yeah, so that's really all I have to say about this wig. Um, if you guys do get that wig, make sure you post the Instagram post, tag Ebony Line, tell them Ashley sent you. Mm. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.